good morning. Um, let's do some stuff that I've been putting off doing for a very long time. Good morning. I just made brekkie, um, little smoothie bowl. Mm -hmm. Um, and I've got a lot I gotta do today. I want to take down my little birthday banner from over a month ago today and then i have all of these let's see let's show you all of these little ornaments hanging up from like christmas that's gotta go down and then we're gonna do some some deep cleaning hit the grocery store it's just a day of getting done hi um, if you're just stumbling upon my channel by fate or algorithmic reasons, I'm Katie. I live in New York. I'm in my 20s, and I just do my best to do my best every day. Thanks for being here. Let's watch this vlog together. So I've got a lot to do. And... I'm gonna turn on Mamma Mia to help me do it. I think I'm gonna have a Mamma Mia double feature while I get all my stuff done. Eee! I love get stuff done days. So huge bummer even on my step stool i'm too short to get them down i mean i did have my tall friend put them up but i was like surely i'll be able to just yank them down no i can't i'm never insecure about my height but when i f can't do something for myself mm, anger rage boiling within me for reference, I'm five feet tall. No inches. Zero. Zero inches. Five. Zero. And it's kind of a curse. But I got those ones down, so I feel good. Guess we'll wait till Christina's back and make her do it. Bummer. Let's go through my pantry. It's kind of... Let's see. It's kind of... A nightmare right now. Just a lot of everything with no order. And this is what happens. When you live your life and you don't, you know, worry about it. You're like, yeah, I'll get to it. I'm getting to it. Today's the day I'm getting to it. So it looks so much better, right? So up top, we've got the, all the baking stuff. And then right here, we've got all snacks. And then the cooking spray because it doesn't fit on the lower shelf. And this is all like dinner things or condiments or seasonings all down there. Or like there's some croutons down there because extra garnishes. And then it's usually where I keep the pasta. You get it. You get it. It looks so much better now. Ugh. So now that I've cleaned and organized the pantry, it feels only right. But I also do the fridge. And the fridge is terrifying to me as a project to undertake. Because what happens with the fridge is things get yucky. It's not like when you dump a bag of crackers or throw away a little thing of crackers because they're bad. It's suddenly these cucumbers are covered in mold, sir. This bread is dead. And I am horrified 
bit of mold, and I don't really know what's in the depths of my fridge, which is why I have to do it, you know? It's exactly why it must be done. You, you know. So, um, let's do it together, okay? I hear, I hear you. Let's make, let's make it like, like, okay. Tell, cheer me on, hype me up. Okay, thanks. Okay, let's do this. This is what we're rocking with. <laughs> it's really not too terrible, but, ugh, the ordeal, you know. The thought of it, it's truly despicable. <laughs> Found one. Gotta wash the drawer out, cause it's weirdly sticky. Why is it sticky? What on earth could have made that drawer sticky? An investigation I'm doing. I did it. I'm so brave. There was so much mold in a bag of Brussels sprouts that had just been pushed to the back that I tried not to vomit. <laughs> um, and I packed up all the trash that I'm gonna have to take out. Um, yeah, it's been a sexy, sexy morning. Um, I feel very good about it though, in terms of like the cleanly. I feel like I've achieved something, I've done something momentous. Um, yeah, it's real good when you do that kind of stuff. Um, so there's a couple more things I wanna do today. I think the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap my jackets with a lot of my summer clothes. Um, cause it's starting to get warm. We had our first 70 degree day. My job is on spring break. I have to go to school. So, I wanted, you know, swap some of that out. Maybe decide, hey, do I even really want this anymore? And I, I can be like a toddler when it comes to wearing a jacket. Especially one that's puffy and makes me feel hot. Um, because there is nothing to me worse then wearing a jacket and it's cold outside. It's like freezing, it's below freezing. And you're like, ooh, it's 28 degrees. And then you go in a store that's 97 degrees Fahrenheit and you're in your jacket and you're in your sweater and you're in your turtleneck and you're in your under t-shirt because it's so cold outside. And then all of a sudden you're sweating and you're just like pulling layers off of you because you're at Target. Target's not supposed to be 97 degrees Fahrenheit, but it is today because it's 28 degrees outside. So I can be a bit of a, uh, I can throw a tantrum when I have to wear a jacket. So the second, the sun starts revealing her beautiful form again it's time for jackets to go bye bye I don't care if there's another day that's like mm, 43 I will just tough it out I'll wear a turtleneck and a sweater and like my denim jacket and tough it out like the Californian I am one of the things I love living in New York don't get me wrong I love it I just I just love it but I get so uh it cracks me up it's like a culture shock to me. Because when I was growing up, it definitely got in the 30s and 40s where I grew up a lot of the time. But we would just tough it out in like a hoodie and jeans and Uggs. And we'd be like, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. But here, if it's even below like 65, I like 40% of people are in a full puffer scarf and gloves. And I'm like, Girl, how are you not sweating? Yesterday I was in like a t-shirt and there was a person that walked me by me all bundled up. And I know we all have different thresholds, but it was 70 degrees. Why are you in a puffer jacket in 70 degrees? It's weird. I have the same stickiness with rain because people here, it'll be like barely sprinkling, like barely a drizzle, like a mist. Your hair is not even getting wet. And everyone's like hunkered down under an umbrella and I'm just chilling. I don't, 
I'm fine, you know? I'm fine. As long as I'm not getting uncomfortably drenched to the point where I feel like I need to change, I don't need to wear, I don't need to have an umbrella. I'm good. I'm chilling. But that is not the New York City way I have learned. The hard way. But yeah. Anyway, that's my rant. I think it's time to put my jackets away. <laughs> I store all my summer things under there. Under the bed. In the darkness. And I did just recently go through them because I took like four bags of clothes to donate just a couple weeks ago. So I know what's in there. I've just gone through it. So I don't think there's gonna be much to donate, but I just, I don't, I don't wanna. Okay, let's get this done. I got this. Guys, huge deal. I found my umbrella. away I need to put the rest of those clothes away and then I move the table so I can clean my rug I'm scared I just got this new thing because we spilled a ton of pasta on the rug the other day <laughs> and I was like we should really like looking at it I was like this is kind of a disgusting moment in our rug so I think let's find a cleaner so I found this one not sponsored btw um it's carpet and rug dry cleaner so it's apparently a powder that i'll push in there rub in there let it sit for like a half hour or so and then vacuum it out so hope for the best you'll see you'll see it all i'm a little nervous It's all done. What do we think? I think it's pretty successful. There's a couple like um, parts of it that I couldn't um, quite get all the way out because our vacuum's kind of crummy or they're permanent bleach spots, but that's fine. That's fine. The rug was like $40. I'm fine. Uh, but yeah, our road rug is looking pretty good. Woohoo hoo! We've done, we've cleaned, we've swap my clothes we've cleaned the rug we've cleaned what else did we clean today we did so much today i'm trying to remember what else we did there's a couple other things we did um yeah i need to go to the to the grocery store because i don't have anything to eat for dinner i don't really have anything to eat in general, I need to go to the bank. I need to go to take the trash downstairs. Um, what else do I need to do? I need to pee real bad all of a sudden. Um, yeah. So I think I'll pee and then I'll take you with me to the store and then and the bank and the trash. And then we'll wrap this up and we'll make maybe dinner together. What do you think? We'll make dinner together. Uh, it could be really cute and silly and goofy and fun. Yeah, I like that. I like it.
the only 20 something in New York that despises going to Trader Joe's. It is nothing to do with the quality of the product, the staff, the, the vibes. It is everything to do with how busy it is. I have had panic attacks in Trader Joe's around town. It's, I love the art of grocery shopping. I love it. Um, but in a Trader Joe's, it's so claustrophobic in the city where like, I can't even take three steps without running into someone. I feel like I can't shop my list because people are standing there. And then I just end up leaving after like 10 minutes because I just can't handle it. So I went to Trader Joe's, long story short, almost cried, but here's what I got. Received. Um, I got my yummy, my favorite bread in the whole world, San Francisco sourdough bread. Um, and when I bought this, I realized, why am I making lasagna for dinner? I should be making a patty melt because I have a ton of ground beef left over, which is why I wanted to make lasagna. So that way it doesn't go bad. And so I'll make a patty melt, use the rest of the beef, turn it into patties, freeze it for the people. Chocolate covered pretzels, of course. Um, I can't live without chicken sausage. I just really can't. I eat it at least. I have to buy a new pack of chicken sausage every week. I eat these like they're candy. They're in every dinner of mine. I put them in pasta. I mix them with Brussels sprouts. I eat them all the time. They are a good high protein staple. Out of pasta. You know how it be. I love a pita chip. Every girl loves a pita chip. Um, I wanted to get one yogurt for my smoothie bowl in the morning, and then tomorrow I'll go to my grocery store and get this, the yogurts I actually like. Um, these are my favorite Trader Joe's, the tamales. Um, uh, there's beef tamales, and I got chicken and cheese tamales, too. Um, I love them. They're so tasty. They're great for just a quick lunch. That's why I got them, because I'll be home all week, and I need to eat lunch. And then the last thing I got was a little carton of strawberries because produce is incredibly cheap at Trader Joe's. And that's why, if I ever end up there, that's why I go is because it's so inexpensive to shop there. But, like, what it doesn't cost you in money, it costs you in your soul in Manhattan. Um, because you're gonna cry. But not over how much it costs or how delicious everything is. But because every person is all up in your grill and they suck. And they're mean and uh, uh, I just I I almost cried today in the Trader Joe's <laughs> because that's what I do I cry in the Trader Joe's I don't cry at any other grocery store it's hot in here it's hot in here the elevator's been out in my building for like almost a month and straight up it's every time I get to my apartment I'm sweaty I'm not sweaty at street level but I'm sweaty when I get up here so there's only one way it could be getting sweaty those stairs and I live on the sixth floor so that's a lot of stairs to be hiking up <sighs> okay I'm gonna put all this away and then I don't know we'll chat we'll make dinner later and hang out <laughs> I forgot to tell you I also went to the bank I be going to the bank I love going to the bank but I started doing this thing to help me budget and be better about my money is I girl math hijack my brain because when I have cash it's free we know this we've been over this but when I have cash it's free even if it comes out of my bank account it's free money so I use the cash to buy the things I don't really want to use my card on you know a trip to home goods a new outfit that's all cash money so I get cash money put it in my little my fun shine bear uh it's my fun shine money for when I want to have a fun time should trademark that um, and I get like, you know, a little over a hundred bucks in cash every paycheck immediately after I get paid. And then I use that for all my fun money. And then anything left over goes in a jar in my dresser. And then when that hits a threshold that I feel like I need to deposit this in the bank, I'll deposit it in the bank. And it's been very helpful for me in not uh, feeling guilty about purchases I want to make and realizing I can, I can buy things, you know, I'm allowed to buy things because I have the opposite reaction of like money of like I'm gonna spend it I'm like I'm gonna hoard it like a dragon uh sitting on my gold so this gives me the freedom to go buy a nice thing buy myself a little a little treat you know take myself to dinner it's fun money and I like it or like in a bind money like oh crap 
my card isn't working. Cash. We should all carry cash. Just a little cash. But yeah, that's that's why I went to the bank. <laughs> So we got, hold on, let's go over here because the lighting will be better. Okay, so we got a lot done today. Um, and I'm so thankful for you for hanging out with me. Oh, oh, we're falling, we're falling. Okay, I'm so thankful for you guys for hanging out with me today as we got all the stuff done. Um, yeah, I feel, I feel really accomplished today. I feel really proud, I feel really good for a Saturday. A lazy girl day? I got a lot done for a lazy girl day. Productive Saturday, a great way to start a couple days, you know? So yeah, I've been uh, flirting with the idea of coming back to YouTube for a while now. And so I feel good to finally be like, I, I did it, I filmed something. I am gonna edit this. I'm gonna put it out there on the world for the whole world to see. And it's going to be so fun and so cute. And we're going to have a really fun time together. Um, and yeah. <laughs> I am very excited for this new journey we're about to be on. You and me. Us. And yeah. I'm so excited. We'll have a lot of things coming your way. I'm still working at all the nitty gritty like uh, posting schedules. And... What kind of stuff we're going to be making. I know a lot of the things we're going to be making together, you and me. Um, mostly me, you consuming it. Um, anyway, in order to uh, validate me, keep me doing this whole thing, I think you should like this. I think you should put a like on this video, and then I think you should comment. You should comment something. Maybe like what you had for dinner, your most recent dinner, because I don't know when you're watching this, whether it's, you know, an evening, a morning, whatever. Whatever your most recent dinner was, I want you to, or maybe your best most recent dinner. I want you to comment that. Um, because my dinner today was so, so good. Uh, yeah, and then I think you should subscribe to me because I'm neat. I'm just so neat and so cool and so swag and so slay and so, hey girl. Um, and I think if you like all those things, being neat and cool and swag and hey girl, I think then that means you should subscribe to me and maybe even like have it set up so that way you're, you know that, I, that you're notified every time I decide to grace the internet with my presence. But that's all on you. Those are action steps for you to do. Do you want to do something big today? Then like and like subscribe and like comment your favorite most recent dinner down below and then i don't know then i'll see how to make that most recent dinner that you've had or i'll go to that restaurant and then i'll have had your best most recent favorite dinner okay i think that's i think that's the vision i think that's the vibe i am gonna go to bed but i've loved hanging out with you i hope you've loved hanging out with me I'll see you next time. I think we're going to have a good time, you and I. I'm so excited. Bye-bye.